Hello and welcome. Uh, congratulations for making it this far. In this video, we'll be making the wheel parts um, for your car. So this is the drawing I will be referencing. And um, so these are your wheel parts, right? So the axle is just a screw. Um, the tire is a little rubber gasket. And then the rim was actually 3D printed. Um, and so what you'll be doing is um, we'll be creating them following this tutorial. We'll create these components. And then um, once you've created them, I will then give you the components. And so you can actually start assembling your car because this is um, the last part. So, um, so from here, um, I'm going to just go over to part tutorials. And um, so the chassis was the last thing we created. I'm just going to hide that. And then I'm going to create the um, wheel components. So um, the first the first part, uh, and these are all um, relatively simple. So this one won't take too long. As you can see, there aren't a ton of measurements like the chassis had. So I'm going to start with the screw uh, or the axle and um, it's basically the head of the screw is um, a tenth of an inch deep and then the entire length is 83 hundredths or um, 830 as, as they say in the machine world and then the diameter of the small small part of the screw is 0.159 while the the head of the screw is 0.314 and um these again these dimensions are very basic i'm not including threading i'm not including tapers i'm not including anything like that um again this is basic and um supposed to be like just a fun beginner project so let's let's get on with the axle. Um, so how I'm going to do this is um, I'm actually going to create, I'm going to show you how to revolve something. And to do that, I'm going to go on the, the front plane. So sketch, click on the front plane, click on the front cube and zoom right in. And what I'm going to do is create a screw. I'm going to create the screw as if I was looking at it from the front. Um, so I'm going to create it like this. Okay. And we're going to revolve half of it and it's going to create that cyl cylindrical shape. So um, go back here and then I'm, I'm actually going to create the screw like so. All right, um, so I'm creating half of it, right? So the first dimension I know is 0.83. And let me just check to make sure that is correct. It is. And then dimension, this is going to be 0.1. And... then um, the diameters, right? So I, I'm going to need half of these. So I'm actually going to type in um, 0.159 divided by 2. So a nice little trick is you can actually use, um, so if I, you can actually use this as a calculator. So 0.159 and then the slash, right, 2, is going to take 1, 0.159 and divide it by 2. The next thing I'm going to do, oops, the next thing I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing, except this is going to be 0.314 divided by 2. 
So 0.314 divided by 2. And then I get my uh, half screw. So now I'm just going to choose this revolve feature. And it shows the faces of, sketch, of the sketch, which is what I wanted. And then the revolve axis is actually going to be this right here. And once you do that, notice I have a screw or a pin. So um, again, pretty easy. Um, I'm going to rename that to Axel because that is what it is in our, in our little world, our little car world. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the next wheel part. And um, this, this part is, I'll do the tire or the gasket for this one. And um, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a circle with a radius of 0.1 or a diameter of 0.2. And then I'm actually going to, that's going to move around in a circle to create the tire. So the first thing I need to figure out, though, is um, that middle distance here, because that's where that's where my circle, the center of my circle is going to need to be. So to do that, I'm going to create a sketch and create a top, go onto the top view, N for normal to, C for circle, Q for construction. And I'm going to move out two circles like so. My first, my first circle is going to be 0.38 and then 0.78. So D for dimension, 0.38 and then 0.78. And then the halfway distance, right, is going to be basically what's in between 0.38 and 0.78. So circle, Q, oops, and um, to figure that out, right, to figure this out, I would just, all I have to do is add these both up and then divide by two, right? And then I'll get in the middle. So D for dimension. So I'm going to add up my 0.78 plus 0.38 and then I just have to divide those by two. So I need, a, I need a parenthesis to tell them, right, um, order of operations tells me that um, anything within parentheses is done first. So do that and then divide by two. And I, I get the midpoint. So this is, this is the circle that I want, okay? This is the circle that I want because I am going to then create another circle that's in between these two and it's going to revolve around okay so <clears throat> I was just using these as a reference so I'm actually going to delete those so select that circle select this circle and now I'm all set with that sketch so um, from here though from here I want to create another circle but I'm going to create it on the right plane. So I go to sketch, I click on the right plane, I click on N, and now I can't see it, but it's there. And <clears throat> I'm going to hit the U key, and I'm actually going to use that line but I want it to be construction. So I click on construction, which is Q, 
and then I'm going to select that, hit Q, and it makes a construction. So it's a construction line because I don't actually want to um, have that have that uh, be used in a feature. Okay, so it's a construction line. So now I'm going to create another circle, but this time it's going to be out here. And the size of that circle is going to be 0.2. And because that's the thickness, right? The radius is 0.1, so the diameter is 0.2. So from there, from there, I'm going to um, revolve this around that, around that circle. So click on revolve again. And actually, it kind of looks like a donut right up there. It's kind of, that's kind of what we're going to be making. So the face of that circle was selected. The revolution axis, I'm actually going to select the mate connector. And then I'm going to come over here. And select the circle. And notice, I get my donut. So very cool. Um, if that sketch is still showing up, you can just hit the hide and then that, that should go away. Um, so that's, that's the tire. I'm going to rename that to tire. And I'll make it black. So edit appearance, black, check it off. So very cool. Almost done here. Last but not least, the, the wheel rim. And um, we're going to have to do another revolve trick with this. Um, there's actually quite a few ways we could um, do this one. I'm going to do it in a couple steps. Um, so the first, I'm just going to make a, a cylinder and then extrude some cuts out of it. So um, it's 0.64, and then a hole that goes through it is 0.165. So I'm going to get back to my space, make sure everything is hidden. And I'm going to go into Sketch. I'm going to click on Top, C for Circle, N to get Normal to. And then I'm going to dimension this to 0.64. And then I'm just going to check again. And then it's 165. So another circle in the center. D for dimension, 0.165. Extrude. And then the thickness. Thickness is 0.23. So 0.23. Check it off. So there you go. I'm going to extrude um, a little counter bore. Oops. Uh, I'm going to extrude a little counter bore that is 0.32 in diameter and goes down 0 0.05, so 50 thou. So 0.32 and 50 thou. So uh, go to top, go on sketch, click on this, C for circle, go on the middle, dimension 0.32, Extrude, remove, 0.05, check it off, and I'm good. All right, so the last part here um, is ex we're going to actually do another revolve, except this time we're going to be removing. We're going to revolve a trying, remove this triangular piece. Um, and if you look, look down there in the right, it's that. 
we need to remove that piece because that's where your tire sits in. So we know we know that it's 0.12. The depth is 0.12, and it's um, that's all we really need to know because it goes to the edges. So I'm going to look on the right plane. And I'll, I'll fix it so that it's like so. I'm going to sketch, create a sketch, right plane. And then I'm going to use, what I'm going to use from this is this top piece here. So U for use. And I want that line. So I'm going to be, that's what I'm, that's going to be my top of my triangle. And then L for line. And then I'm just going to come down with the line. But I want it in the midpoint because they're going to be equal. So I'm going to bring it to the midpoint here. And I'm just going to come down. And then I'm going to go up and finish it. So I need to know the depth. So that's going to be 0.12. So D and 0.12. And I'm good. Um, let me see. It's oh, that's weird. Oh, it's not locking to that. Okay. Here, let me let me just go back. Um, so for some reason, it didn't take those points when I selected use. So U for use, I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to select these sides as well, um, just so we have a fully defined shape. I'm going to then click Q, get out of U, so hit escape, click on these two sides, click Q for construction. Okay, now we're on a fully defined shape. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing, L. So fully defined is really important because if you build off of it, it will, and you reference it, things will start to not be defined. So you always want fully defined, so black lines before continuing on. That's why I, I go back and make sure that that's the case. So remember that, fully defined, having all your lines black, meaning that it's a defined shape in space is important in CAD. Okay, so L for line, go to this point. I'm going to go to the midpoint, come down. Same thing. Boom. And then D for dimension, this point, that line. That's going to be 0.12. And then whatever this angle is, is the angle you want. It's still not fully defined. All right, it must be, it must be because, so LQ, Sometimes, sometimes on shape does this, and it's so okay. So coincide. I don't know why it's not locking onto those. So I went into coincide. So I, and then I'm going to select this point and this point, and now you have a fully defined object. Sometimes it doesn't lock on, um, and sometimes it does. I don't know why, especially when you're using the use command, which is taking the geometry off of the shape. You would think it would automatically do that, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, anyway, fully defined. Now we're just going to cut it. So revolve, remove, and the axis. I'm actually going to use a mate connector here. Click on the surface, 
and there you have it. You have your rim. So great job. I'm just going to rename this to rim. Great job if you've made it this far. Um, give yourself a pat on the back. This is no easy task, especially being a beginner at this. Um, so great job if you've made it this far. And um, so the, the next video, and um, I don't want to say final video because I might make some more here, um, but it, the next video, and towards the end, this is towards the end of the project, um, we're going to assemble your car. And um, we're going to assemble it virtually, and you'll have uh, an idea of what it would look like if you were to have it in real life. And lucky for you, you are going to have it in real life. So you'll be able to compare. Um, so that's that's it. Um, congratulations if you've made it this far. We got the wheel parts, we got the chassis, and we have the car shell. Um, so next, next up is the assembly.